All right, moving on. Let's move over here. Again, we come into the hook, which we've already went over. Let's go ahead and uh, unmute this stuff. Uh, let's hear what the actual, what this sounded like. Ooh, you messing with the real true. Hoo, hoo. What you think this is, bitch? I will shoo, 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 who, who. Anybody step into me with this here weapon. Teach them lessons, Smith and Wesson. All right, so that is the original vocal. When I was doing like, uh, I'm going to try to come up with a song. Uh, I'm using a dynamic microphone. Um, I'm going to quick talk about dynamic microphones while, we're, while I'm on the subject. And that is, a lot of people think that you need to get the... Now, I did use uh, the condenser microphone. One-inch diaphragm, condenser microphone, AKG, I believe it's one-inch. Large diaphragm microphone, condenser, uh, for the actual recording of my vocals. And I used a dynamic microphone for this. However, I don't have one, but I'm, I plan on getting one in the future. And I want a dynamic mic because I have a real thin voice. Um, that's why I'm adding a lot of, uh, I'm adding some EQ to my voice to make it sound. And as I get closer to the microphone, it might increase it because of proximity. But I have a kind of thin voice. All right. So let's see here. This is with no EQ on, just a normal voice. And I'm adding some warmth to my voice. Um, so a dynamic microphone, actually, if you go research, adds a little bit of compression to the audio of your vocals. I'm not being technical correct here on what I'm saying, just in the great sense of the term, it adds some compression. People think that you need to have a high-tech studio condenser microphone, and if you do, you're incorrect, because here's what's going to happen. You're going to have more issues. If you're in a project studio trying to come up with a, a good song or something like that, your condenser microphone is going to pick up a freaking mouse farting in like the next room. It's going to be really sensitive, okay? And depending on the pattern that you're selecting, um, you can minimize the sound from the rear, all right? Now, the condenser microphone, and let me bring one up here, or well, the one I plan on getting, and I know someone who is out there, and I'll give you an example here in a second, that uses it. And I've already messaged him. I'm not sure if he still uses it. It's been a while since I've talked to him. But uh, the SM7B, it's uh, the cardioid. It's got a cardio cardioid pattern, which means it picks up sound from the front on axis. And on this microphone, front on axis would be if this little portion here was pointing directly towards you. If you want some more information on that, go watch a video on YouTube about this SM7B. Uh, a lot of people use it. And I will go ahead and show you someone that uses it that, or has used it in his tracks. And the whole reason I'm telling you this is because this is a good microphone or any microphone like it. The dynamic microphone prevents a lot of the sound from around you. For instance, your room sound, the sound in your room, it doesn't get picked up as much. You do want to have a pretty good preamp to run a dynamic microphone. But uh, I'm using the MU1820 uh, stock preamps and they're not like, you know, all the other hardcore preamps that are out there they cost thousands of dollars but it works pretty good all right and basically you'll get less room tone you ain't gotta worry about the reverb getting inside your microphone um you can be real dynamic on this thing you ain't gotta worry about it distorting it could take a beating uh, yell you know like yelling rock vocals and stuff like that and it's on axis sound and basically sound from the front of it um you're gonna get a lot less like if you have a condenser mic and you're recording and you have a computer in your room, each pass, if you're doing like some R&B vocals and you're doing like 10 passes of vocals, well, guess what? Each one of those is going to stack up and pretty soon the recording of that computer that was in the background that sounded really low is going to be really loud. So now you have this loud sound of a computer in your room and you're like, fuck, fucked up my shit. Well, this microphone here, you'll have, it'll be less evident. All right, so that's my little shindig on dynamic microphones. Let's now move to my second verse. Uh, it's pretty much all the same stuff. I got my lead vocals, my stress over double. Let's go look at the compression that I'm getting. We're going to hear it right quick and then go look at the amount of compression I'm getting because we also got an outro over here we're going to look at. So here's the second verse. It is my vocals. I just changed my tonality to sound kind of like a different person. The one that's falling down. Go on the counter, let go. Your 
so uh, I'll just tell you what I'm saying here right quick. Um, if you go to my actual SoundCloud page, here's a link right there. Boom. You can actually download the song, as I've said. It's also got the lyrics, but I'll just tell you what I'm saying anyway. So come around the corner, letting rounds go through the door. Or I'm saying through the dough, you know, it goes sound like, I gotta say it differently. So through the dough with a Scorpion Evo. The Scorpion Evo is a gun inside of Black Ops 2. So come around the corner, let rounds go through the dough with a Scorpion Evo. Best believe that I got a lot of ammo with my camo, looking like Rambo. So best believe that I got a lot of ammo. So I got a lot of bullets. My camo is looking like Rambo. I do a little bark. Hey, Rambo. <laughs> what you thought this was, I ain't bouts to die. Ain't no love, that's your blood flying through the sky. Uh, when you knife someone in the game, their blood actually flies through the air. Also, when you shoot them, of course, inside the game. What you thought this was, I ain't bust to die. Ain't no love that your blood flies through the sky. Then I say, yeah, we some soldiers. Somebody should have done told you. Let's see. Some soldiers, somebody should have came and told you. Somebody should have came and told you. We right. should have came and told you we right. So, yeah, we some sol sh soldiers. Somebody should have came and told you we rowdy. Right now, I'm holding my shoddy. So, the shotgun. I'm holding my shoddy. Unloading shells. You won't stop me. So, I'm unloading all these shells. No one's going to stop me. What is shells? You won't stop me. They're ricochet. They're ricocheting your body. Ricocheting your body. On your knees, praying, Lordy. Praying to the Lord. Nobody. On your knees, praying, Lordy. Oh, yeah. They Oh yeah, these haters be talking, but they ain't got nothing on me. So that's basically what I'm saying. For all of you that really care or don't care, I don't know. I just thought I'd throw that out there. <laughs> but here, let's listen to the um, actual background vocals here. So let's listen to the vocals only. Come around the counter, let it rouse go to the door with a scope. A lot of reverb on this, okay? Come around the counter, let it rouse go to the door with a scope and Evo. Best believe that I got a lot of ammo with my camo looking like Rambo. <laughs> What you thought this was? Now, I threw a little bark into the sing area, but that doesn't matter. I just wanted to add more emphasis to the bark. So, those are Dad, Come around the counter, let it rouse go. Gah. Yeah, we some soldiers, somebody. So, I got my little stresses here that you can see. I'll play those. Let it rouse go. Scorpion Evo. Got a lot of ammo with my camo looking like Rambo. Hoo, hoo. What you thought this was? Bastard die. Love that your blood fly through the sky. Now, they're not the same on both sides, and that doesn't really matter. They don't have to be. Soldier somebody told you we're ready, holding my shoddy. So, you know, just the end rhymes, basically, giving some emphasis. And then we have down here my actual uh, choir portion that you're going to hear. Let's listen in the background real quick. So let's hear that. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It was a boss and die. No love that your blood not do the sky. Sounds like there might be a little bit of distortion in that. I'm not sure what's going on there, but uh, let's hear it without the auto tune on there. It's still going to have the chorus effect. This is raw, folks, right here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This was a boss to die. No love that your blood fly do the sky. Somebody. That fucking sound, <laughs> sounds like plies. I no love that your blood fly do the sky. I'm not trying to say I sound like them, but you know what I'm saying. So it's not perfect. Um, you know, I could have went there and did it perfect, but I'm going for the sound, okay? And it did what it needed to do. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw my auto tunes back on for the auto tune effect. So that was without auto tune. Let's go turn our choir back on. That creates the choir effect. Push it to the back and make it sound like a choir singing. 
Now, I just now figured out what that cracking is. It is my actual devices, device setup, control panel, 75 milliseconds. Probably got to increase that. So the cracking is not in the song. It is uh, has to do with the plug-in right here. All right, and when you mix it down, it doesn't have that sound either. I could actually fix that, but I'm not going to because I don't really care right now. All right, so. Then I go up in key or tone, uh, pitch right here for the ending part. So without all that mumbo jumbo in there, it sounds pretty plain. Alright, so you have that. Alright, so we have a like an outro singing part, and that is with auto tune on it. I sung it through auto tune, and we'll hear it without auto tune, and it's basically, I'll let you hear it right now. Yeah, you better have. No, you can't take me, so don't even try. Yeah, you better run. Yeah, you better have. WHPBeats.com. No, you can't take me, so don't even try. No, you can't take me, so don't even try. Yeah! Yeah! Alright, so. Here I left a gap so that WHP tag could come through. I did that on purpose, so shout out again to them, w White Hot Productions. WH. I left that little gap right there for that. And basically, as we've already seen, it's the sing left and sing right. It's going, it's got some auto tune on it, and it's going out to my lead bus on this time, as you can see. So it's getting that lead vocal treatment, and it's pan left and right, 23%. All right, just like my lead vocals. Um, so it does add a little width to it, and it's in unison, basically. It's not a harmony. It's not like a high and low. It's all the same note per note basis, I guess you could say. And so that's what's going on there. You're seeing like little bitty dashes in there. That's like uh, my fade in and fade outs to clean it up a little bit. But um, here's without auto-tune. I've never, let's see what it sounds like without auto-tune. Yeah, you bet. Okay, perfect example, folks. When you sing through auto tune, this is what, if you were in the studio with me, what you would hear. Now, again, to me, it sounds like heaven, heaven, heavenly angels singing from above. <laughs> but right now, it sounds like crazy. Watch. You better run. Yeah, you better hide. No, you can't take me, so don't even try. Yeah, you better run. Yeah, you better hide. No, you can't take me, so don't even try. No, you can't take me, so don't even try. So when I was hearing it through my headphones, this is what I was hearing as I was singing into my microphone because I'm monitoring it live. I'm hearing in my headphones my own voice, and I am adjusting my pitch to go off-key Basically, to make the auto-tune sound good in my headphones so that I know that when I throw the auto-tune on there, it's going to sound good. No, you can't take me, so don't even try. And it has like this little... I have another method. I have a video tutorial that I sell, and it teaches you how to really smooth that out. But in this instance, I didn't really need to because I'm pretty good with the auto-tune that I can make it sound smooth already. A lot of people use the auto-tune, and it sounds really glitchy and really erratic pitch, pitch shifting. And some people are going for that effect, but I think it sounds crappy. And I've actually heard some like professional uh, mixed by major label industry artists like I believe 112 has a song out that they did some hardcore auto-tune to and if they would have sent it to me I could have fixed it up way better <laughs> it sounds totally like garbage it sounds like why did you even throw auto-tune on this song I would rather hear this song without auto-tune but it's because whoever did it didn't know how to do a little secret that I know to really smooth out the auto-tune but that's another story I'm not saying I'm godly and I'm all this and that. I'm just saying when it comes to auto-tune, a lot of people know me for the auto-tune effect. They know me for putting out tutorials on how to do it. I've actually had a Grammy Award winning <laughs> mixing engineers. I've, I've, I'm not going to tell you his name. I've said before. Ordered the tutorial from me 
And when I saw the name inside my order box from PayPal, I was like, you know what? I know that fucking name. I know I've seen that. And sure enough, it was a Grammy Award winning mixing engineer and recording engineer also. He's done stuff with Michael Jackson, Justin Timberlake, Prince. But I ain't saying his name for, uh, you know, just think I'll keep that to myself. Anyway, you don't have to believe me. It doesn't matter. Yeah, you better run. Yeah. So let's throw the auto tune back on. I go off on tangents. That's my ADHD kicking in, folks. Yeah, you better run. Yeah, you better hide. All right, so we already heard that shit. Let's move on over here. Now we got a little rap that comes in towards the end. It's the outro. Just thought I'd throw it in there. I'm throwing out my PS PlayStation Network clan tag name. Clan tag. My actual name, which is Ninja Guy. Um, if you want to add me, I'll go ahead and throw that up right here. All right, so let me type that in for you. On PS3, it's my daughter made this name when I was in Afghanistan, deployed. So she made my account for me. Now, you don't have to do the capital letters and all that when you're trying to add me on PSN, PlayStation 3. You just go Z-X-N-I-N-J-A-X-G-U-Y-X-Z. All right, Z. There you go. That's my PSN name, so if you add me, I'll add you or whatever, and uh, we might be able to play a game together or something, if you have Black Ops 2 or something like that, but anyway, don't save that. So, that's what's in here, so I'm going to go ahead and play this portion, make sure this is muted. Yeah! Yeah! So I got this hyped up little, yeah, yeah, you know, changing my voice. Yeah! Yeah! What you thought this was, player? So y'all want a hype motherfucker. I could get some hype shit, some hype vocals on a track. As you can see, I'm very versatile. Um, I'm not bragging, but I'm very versatile, versatile in my vocals. I can change them up, do different things. I can rap, sing, whatever. Um, I don't really get on people's tracks too much. I have in the past, but I'm just so busy with college and stuff. But yeah, anyway, I don't know why I'm telling you this. Just ignore that. Yeah! Yeah! What you thought this was, player? I'm that player ninja guy, aka I'm those of beats. I'm chilling in my studio while playing on my PS3. Real soldier left it, Bravo infantry. I put it down for ground powder productions. Now you know the deal. Holla at me. How hot was I recording? Let's open this one. Um, I was recording very, very low. You normally don't want to do that, but you can. It's not going to hurt anything, all right? The sound I put in is the sound, you know, as I increase this volume of this, like I have, any low-level noise, so if you have a noisy room, which I do not, it's all acoustically treated when I record. Um, but I was recording low volume, so I, I'm peaking. This isn't too low. I, it gives me a lot of headroom, but I'm peaking at like 8, negative 18. Some people record way hotter than that, all right? So, these are basically going to my outro, what is it going out? To my lead, lead, lead. These are all going to my lead bus. So, they're getting the same treatment as all my verse stuff and everything else. And I'm basically, I go, yeah, yeah, what you thought this was, whatever, like I'm cool or something. I'm that play a ninja guy, a.k.a. I'm I'm that play a ninja guy, aka I'm Dozer Beats, because that's my YouTube channel. AKA I'm Dozer Beats, I'm chilling in my studio while playing on my PS3. My uh, PS3 is actually right here next to my MU 1820M. So I'm in the studio and I have it, I'm actually have it hooked up to this monitor I'm recording on right now. So I play, that's how I play my games also. And what else? And I'm just saying I'm a real soldier, 11 Bravo Infantry. I don't know why. I just thought it sounded cool to put that in there. Real soldier, 11 Bravo Infantry. I put it down for Ground Pounder Productions. I put it down for Ground Pounder Productions. That's like the name of my production thing. Um, it's not like copywritten, so you can go ahead and steal it if you want to. There with a little hater, Mr. Hater out there walking around on YouTube. Uh, I don't really care. doesn't matter to me. But uh, you don't know what it means, and I do. What it means to me is Ground Pounder Productions is what do you call an 11 Bravo Infantry soldier, someone who is out there on the front lines when they go to combat. They're Ground Pounders. That's what they call them. They call them legs because we move everywhere we go with our feet. We are on our feet most of the time, um, although we do mechanized infantry stuff too. But anyway, so Ground Pounder Productions, a little bit of history behind that. 
And know the deal, holla at me. You know the deal, holla at me. What I'm basically saying is, uh, if you make it famous from watching my damn videos, <laughs> if you become famous, man, don't forget about me. If I helped you out in any way with this tutorial or any other videos, you know, just don't forget about little old dozer over here chilling. I'm actually not little. I'm actually a, a power lifter, so... Okay, I'm lying. I'm not a true power lifter, but I do power lifting stuff. So, um, anyway, that's another story. Maybe I'll do some stuff on my life. Maybe you'll actually get to see me one time. I actually got a, another video. You can actually see what I kind of look like, but I was kind of out of shape. <laughs> Is my We Are the Infantry music video. It was filmed. I can't say his name who did the filming, but it was a Michigan State Trooper. I was his team leader, and he was deployed with me course because i'm his team leader and he was the cameraman behind the scenes and it was done with a cheap little camera but uh yeah you can go check that video out um it's basically when you go to my youtube channel the first video the featured video that plays the we are the infantry music video um i'd also like to so that's it i mean that's pretty much all i can tell you about the song I actually, when I did it, this, you didn't see me do it because I did it offline just a second ago. This whole verse here was kind of low. That verse right there was low. I actually increased it. And actually, when I uploaded it to soundcloud.com slash Dominic, I actually noticed it that it, the second verse is kind of low. So I'm going to increase that. As I've said, the song is not to make me famous. Or anything like that. It's going to be basically because I was going to do a montage recording and have different clips of my gameplay. Because a lot of people like watching cool gameplay. Um, it's their thing. You know, people during the Call of Duty. And again, I also thought, you know what? I need to make a song to make a tutorial. So you guys can go check it out and see how I do things. Here's the uh, original recording when I was doing my rough draft. And I didn't record this all the way through. I record bits and pieces, as I have said to bring it into a into here so that I can actually just have it for a reference. Come around the corner, let it rounds go through the door with a Soviet Evo. Best believe that I got a lot of ammo with my camo looking like Rambo. <laughs> what you thought this was? I ain't boss to die. Ain't no love that your blood flying through the sky. Yeah, we some soldiers. Somebody should have came and told you we routed. Right now I'm holding my shotty, unloading shells. You won't stop me. They ricochet in your body, on your knees praying loudin'. Oh yeah, these haters be talking, but they ain't got nothing on me. I actually like the sound of that. I mean, dynamic microphone. It adds a nice warmth. I mean, that's why I'm gonna end up getting a dynamic microphone and a better one for actually recording. Nothing on me. Yeah, you better hide. No, you can't take me, so don't even try. Yeah, you better run. Yeah, you better hide. So don't take me, so don't. Who thought this was player? I'm that player ninja guy, aka I'm Dozer Beast. Chilling in the studio, I'm playing on my PS3. Real soldier 11, bravo infantry, I puts it. So, as you can see, it came out way different from the way that sounds. Compared to what it is here, I am actually not using auto tune on it. That I just had it with auto tune. So, all right. So now let's see what all my vocals are going. They're basically all going to a single bus. All these buses you see here: intro, lead, stress. If you notice, the output says all vocals, all vocals, all vocals. Okay. So all these buses are going to this bus. I can control the in total volume of all vocals through this bus. I can also insert an effect to control them. I have all my vocals being treated with the Stanton channel or Satson channel. I keep saying Stanton, I don't know why. And the Satson bus. So there's that, and we're still not done. There is another aspect of this whole entire mix before I mix it down, all right? And that's this. Now, I match my vocal level to the instrumental also, but that's another story. But 
for before I mix it down, and you usually don't want to do this when you're sending this, this to a, ma a mastering engineer. I did it because I'm the one that mastered the song. Um, but before I exported it, I have the L2 Ultra Maximizer on here. So I'm chopping off a lot of the vocals. Basically what I did was I raised it up to where I'm chopping off like just a little bit. All right. That's before I send it to my next thing, which is going to be the compressor. All I'm using this compressor for, it's the solid state logic, all right, native version, is I'm rolling off the top end. I'm just, uh, it's a little too crispy for me and digital, my microphone I have here. So, not here, but the one I recorded with. So, I'm basically rolling off the top end to give it a little bit more of a warm sound. And it's going to get rid of some of that crispiness on the top end. That's something that I could do during the mastering stage. I just chose to do it here. And finally, everything is being sent through this bus. This is everything, instrumental and everything, because this is my stereo out. I'll show you that right now. It's my stereo out. Basically, before it goes out, it is being processed by this compressor. And these are the compressor settings I have. I have basically full compression with the 2 to 1, a slow attack of 10 milliseconds, to let some of that transient through and a very long, uh, not a long release, but 0.6 release. And here's how much gain reduction. It's very, it's barely touching it at certain points. So this compressor adds a nice warm sound. To it so that's what we're doing there okay and that's all the processing for this track right here you see this website that's a, a website I created off a free place called tripod you know nothing spectacular but I do have a DVD tutorial available all right if you go to this website it'll go over what the whole tutorial DVD is about it's all video high quality and I get into more of a professor teaching mode and I do have some other stuff. But if you want to know what's on the DVD, just go to this website. I got free tutorials that you can download to test on your computer so you can see the quality and the sound. So um, it's 28 hours of instructional material to teach you all those plugins you saw me using right now inside this program, you know, like all of your compressors and stuff like that. For those who don't know, I teach you like what they are, how to use them, everything about EQ uh, on the EQ portion of the DVD, and that's a couple hours of DVD uh, tutorials, video tutorials. I talk about everything, and I use various plugins to show you. I use sounds, I use vocals, stuff like that to basically teach you um, what everything does, tricks, tips for vocals, for instruments, and stuff like that. So, and then I go over compression. I go and I teach you about all the different parameters of compression. I'm also going to be uploading some uh, actual video from the DVD uh, here in the future. So that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, go ahead and give me a like if you could. That will help spread this knowledge to other people. Don't be greedy now. Don't be like, oh man, I got these secrets. I'm going to keep them to myself. I mean, everybody does. Okay, that's cool because I got them too. But uh, I like to get this video out to as many people to help a lot of people trying to make it um, because there's a lot of people not putting out good songs right now. A lot of it's uh, really take, getting taken over by uh, the industry and a lot of it's garbage. Um, not all of it, just some of it. I rarely hear a song that comes out and I'm like, you know what, this song's dope. Most of the songs that I hear that I'm like, man, this song's fucking bad ass are from like independent artists you know, that aren't so mainstream. All right, since we're on the topic of independent artists, I got some people I want to give some shout-outs to. They live in my town, where I'm at right now. And here we got Severe the Boss. All right, go check this video out. There's a link right there. Just be advised, as you're seeing some of it here, it's going to be kind of choppy because I'm doing a certain frame per second.
Now, if you go watch the video, it's in higher quality. So, Severe the Boss right here. Check out some of it. Do not slip on this video. You guys really need to go check it out. If you like me, motherfucker, we go hard. I y'all press what? Yeah, he's just hanging out with me now, man. That's what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. Put him, put him up if you getting so up. Put him, put him up if your drink is They got motherfucking wolves and shit. Motherfucking wolves. What? With some beers in your atmosphere, put him up. Now, if you got sets that you wear, put him up. Let a nigga try me. All right, let's go. First verse. First verse. Y'all been waiting on this mister. Don't be a hater, so haters get your hating on. Everywhere you see me, watch chain bracelet on. Promise not to murder dudes. Don't be that dude that I break it on. Ain't talking nothing, and I'm certified where I go. Worldwide, they fuck with him, not just in Ohio. But I gotta rep my city. So Cleveland is y'all with me. I'm flawless, I wouldn't spit it if the description ain't fit me. You did me, haters just pretend to be me. On every level, I'm a monster. No Energy drink, which means that I'ma go all out and the driver's seat won't stall out. Every night we roll out, take a shot to the head to the point we fall out. All right, so he starts out there in the streets, then we're gonna move to the club. All right, check it. Things not stopping, I yell with a west side ass. Nigga put me on time three in the morning, we on the block. Here to see what we are in the car to cop. So we pop all the bottles that we can and we taking shots, 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 shots. Any given day, turn the block to a block party. Boss man, get it popping like a Glock 40. What it looking like for me? Try to find three bad chicks, try to have a 4G. I ain't talking about setting up ass while I'm living in the telly up off. I'm the regular who, what, when, where, why we can set it up. You get with it up, bitch, we can pay up. Now, if that shit ain't got y'all going, there's something wrong with you. You need to really go get your motherfucking hair checked for real. All right. So that's Severe to Boss. Shout out right there. Next one up. All right. Right here, we got my boy James T. Uh, he's been in my studio way back in the day when before I got my house. It was a small studio. You know, we're all in this little bitty room all cramped up. Had him come over, and uh, we never really did finish the song because we have a lot going on in our lives. But... He's doing big things. I want you to check him out. Uh, there's a link to his video right there. I'm going to show you some of the video. As I've already said, it's going to be a little not as good quality, of course, as if you go watch the real video. So go check it out. Show support for your people. All right. Check him out. Oh, man. I know you feel that. What? That's me saying that. <laughs> you gotta, I gotta, we gotta just stay on our feet. You hotter, who hotter, I'm hotter, we hotter in these streets. Gone off that yet, so we living in the power bay. So if you see us, you better go and hide away. You gotta, I gotta, we gotta just stay on our feet. You hotter, who hotter, I'm hotter, we hotter in these streets. Gone off that yet, so we living in the power bay. So if you see us, you better go and hide away. Bro, wait a minute. If I told you, you would be amazed. I smoke some killer by the name of Super Lemon Haze. I'm down to earth, but I found myself high as fuck. That purple princess power kush had me almost stuck. I'm out to get her with fellows, gonna be slaying the bows. Chevy the Cadillac, slamming them Dayton's and bows. You gotta, I gotta, we gotta just stay on our feet and watch for them niggas I got for their Gucci and cheese. In 99, I had to move up. Yeah. Alright, let's check out uh, who's up next I never met this guy, but he's a real talented artist Tony Capo Alright, he knows how to fucking lay it down for reals we in the Here he comes yes, You better go and hide away Murder mitten Mexicans, stacking dead presidents Keep it 100 like a motherfucking Benjamin A motherfucking Benjamin Hottest in my city, cause ain't nobody better than Triple M Capo, burner in the poncho, your BM call me Sancho, niggas want problem, I serve them beef inside a taco, Damn. Uh, like throw my motherfucker, the kush got me gone, coma motherfucker, we throw it up in the mitten, the Midwest boys hold it down, keep it pimping, promethazine sipping, familia 
got over everything, that's just how we living I might not be the best, but I'm fresher than the rest, yes You gotta, I gotta, we gotta just stay Alright, you know what I'm saying, go check him out Dude's doing big things, I gave you guys a link Go like that video Now if you ain't feeling that, if you ain't feeling this, alright Some of you haters out there might not be feeling this Something's wrong with you. You need to go get your motherfucking hair and check. Alright, so I plan on doing a lot of other tutorials in the future. Teach you guys some more stuff. Uh, here's a little thing that uh, when James T came over to my house, he's gonna if he's watching this right now, he's going to remember it. But there's an effect in here that I'm going to make a tutorial out of. I just got the idea when I heard it. And I'll let you hear the effect. Okay, So this is James T. It's a new day, wake up already, head out to the forties and holler at my nigga nephew, get my fade on, fade on, fade on, kiss me nephew, get my fade on, fade on, fade on, kiss me stuntin' on the stopping. So you hear that little slowdown effect like a uh, record stopping? Um, I actually did that in Samplitude because they have a really good slowdown, pitch down effect and it's really controllable and I did it to the whole track after I mixed it down. So I'll, I'll let you know again. Get my fade on, fade on, fade on. Kiss me stuntin' on the stop and go. It's little stuff like that that can add a lot to your production. So I'll be uh adding a tutorial on that. Fade on, fade on, fade on. Kiss me stuntin' on the stop and go. Posted at the liquor store, rolling up a. Also the uh the Black Ops 2 song. I'm I'm gonna try and make a video of me mastering it and how I mastered it. All right, so this is my final shout out right here to Malky Means King. There's the link right there. Now, I like this dude, man, because he has fun with it. He doesn't try and be something that he ain't. You know what I'm saying? This dude's pretty cool. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and let you check out the little part of his video, B-Town Monsters. You know what I mean? And here Let's get it going. You know who I am. You know what I'm from. It's BMG for life. Stop backing down. Stop trying to lie. Stop trying to run. Let's see what else we got. Motherfucker. Is that the same Berkeley? And I'm the same Berkeley. I don't want that shirt if it ain't made in Berkeley. And I'm just saying Berkeley. I can spot a fake by how you saying Berkeley. I'm zoned out. I'm zoned out. I'm zoned out. Yeah. But you're not from Berkeley. I don't know you. I don't want to. I would never leave the beer if I ain't had to. All right, so go check them out. Doing big things. But uh, I'm just rambling, so that's it. I hope you guys liked it. As I've already said, I'm probably going to get a lot of hater comments about my, my accent. Or something like that. Maybe I'll do another video on that. Cause, uh, I'm ha now some of you probably don't care about this. I'm just gonna say it anyway, cause I don't care about it. Is I'm half Hispanic, half white. So I'm not white. I'm not trying to be black or a lot of these people trying to do racial profiling and being you know they like to label people with stereotypes. I'm just a do I'm just a dude in this fucking world, man. I'm a dude on this planet Earth trying to make it in society. <laughs> All right. Um, but if you are a hater and I, that's why I leave the comments open, just go ahead and just scroll down to the page there and you'll see there's a comment section. I'm pretty sure you're well familiar with it cause you're a troll. Go ahead and just troll me and leave uh, your comments. I'm kind of interested in what you got to say. Um, you might say who I sound like, 
you can't really say who I look like too much because <laughs> there's not many videos of me. But uh, anyway, as you can see, I like to ramble. So uh, if there are any other ideas, if someone has any ideas, man, if you guys got ideas, just like send me a message and I'll try to put together some free videos for you. Uh, what do you want to see? You know, like what are you interested in? I could do one on the mastering. I might do that. I might show you how I mastered this song. Um, however, as you're watching me do the mastering, you're not really going to understand everything if you don't understand mastering. And that's where my DVD tutorial comes in. All right. So I'll talk to you people later. Just uh, hit me up. Doses.